Hi guys, Pamela Herman here. Wanted to do this quick little training all about how to optimize this prime real estate on your Facebook page. I recently created this timeline picture that you see right here, which is a collage of different images and threw it up onto my Facebook page. And I had a lot of comments from people saying, oh, that's really cool. How'd you do that, Pam? So I thought I would share with you guys exactly how I created this. So recently what I came across was this great little photo editor called PicMonkey. I'm going to show you exactly how I created this in literally you could create this for your own timeline picture in less than five minutes. It's that simple. Um, but let me give you a little marketing tidbit here. First of all, it's really important with your timeline picture right here. Well, a couple of different points. Number one, you want these images to evoke some type of an emotion in either a prospect or your existing customers. And by that, what I mean is that think in terms of what do your products and services do for someone, okay? What pain will it relieve or what pleasure will it bring or a combination of the two of those? And so as you're putting together a timeline picture, particularly as it relates to a collage, you wanna hit on the, those emotional triggers from your prospects and your existing customers. This is really, really important. So let me give you an example. Let's say that you are in the HVAC business, that's heating, ventilating, and air conditioning, okay? And let's say that you're a contractor and you install units in people's homes. Well, it's not about having a brand new unit in your house. It's about what sort of pain does it relieve or what sort of pleasure does it bring? And air quality, especially in Colorado where I live, is not terribly high. There's a lot of dust because it's very arid. It's hard on the sinuses. People get nosebleeds when they come to visit. And so how will it feel when I have a greater level of air quality in my home? And how does it make my family feel? Okay, so those are the types of emotions that we want to key into. And I use Pinterest to find really cool images, and I encourage you to do the same thing. That's really the power of Pinterest. But that being said, let's hop on over to uh, PicMonkey, and I'm going to show you exactly how I made this. This is the website, P-I-C-M-O-N-K-E-Y.com. This is free and you don't have to register. You literally just hop in here and you start creating, which I love. I feel like I give my email address to everybody these days, but here it is, super simple to do. Over here on the left-hand side, we are now in the photo area. I'm gonna show you how to upload photos from your, from your computer. But right here, you wanna pick layout. And they give you all kinds of choices right here, but we're gonna click on this one right here, which is FB cover. And they've already got the template laid out to fit perfectly in Facebook, which is 851 by 315 pixels. So you don't have to do any configuring, which is awesome. I've been doing this manually and it's a little bit of a pain in the patootie, but this makes it super simple. So what they've done is they're giving you choices as to what type of template you want to use, depending on how many images. And you can actually edit these image sizes and the quantity, and I'm gonna show you how to do that once you start downloading your images. Now, let's get into the framework of this. What you can do is you can drop in, actually, let me put the pictures in first, and then I'll show you how to, how to change the alignment on these bad boys. Okay, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some images from my desktop, highlight those, click on open, and they automatically dump right in here, okay? So all you have to do is really just left click, drag, and drop. That's it. So I'm gonna take these. I've got a few others in my desktop. Let's pull these up. Okay, there's several right here that I wanna grab. And it's really kind of cool. They just download them right in. Now, this one that I'm creating, I'm doing in preparation for New Year's. I'm going to upload this onto my page after Christmas. So I just want to build it out right now and have it ready to go. Um, let's see what else is in here. Okay. So this is pretty much it. Let me show you how to do this. When you are, once you've got all of your images in here, you can adjust the height and the setting on these, which is kind of cool. You just kind of mix it up a little bit. You can also just left click on an image and drag it over so you can center it. Okay. 
and I'm just going to remove, oops, that's not going to work. I want to take this one right here. These are basically resolutions. And then what you can do is you can adjust these left to right, top to bottom. Super cool to do. Okay, so now let's go in here and just kind of manipulate this a little bit. You can adjust this width that's around each image. See how everything's expanding? And you can also go in here and adjust the corners. I'm going to keep mine nice and tight squared. You can adjust the background color. This is the framing right here. I always like to go with black because it's a little bit, gives it a little bit more pop. But you know what? I think because some of these images are darker, I'm going to stick with white. Let's go back up here. Actually, you know what? Let's get edgy. Let's do red. Let's live on the edge, shall we? Okay, great. So that's pretty much it. All you have to do now is just save it. It saves right onto your desktop. I'm going to put one in here just so I remember. This is the first one I'm going to do. And I'm going to do high quality. It's a larger file, but I really want these images to be nice and crisp. And it's going to save it right to my desktop. So there it is, my friends. In less than five minutes, you can create a really, really high impact graphic for your timeline. Again, no calls to action on here. No URLs, no click here, no like here, nothing like that. Facebook wants you just to start connecting from a marketing perspective with this real estate. So take full advantage of it. Again, think about your ideal customer. What do they care and value? What pain do they want relieved or what pleasure do they want that your product and service can offer? With that, this video is a wrap. Look forward to seeing you on the, on the backside. Take care.